It's this way.
Gotcha.
It's this way. for you in a sec. Well, sure did. Uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just? Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay?
All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? Soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back. Take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Want to get to Sector Seven in style? This is the passageway for you. Okay, getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <sighs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. This is it then. Ready? No. Aw, you big softy. Gonna miss me?
shall we? No. Nothing wrong with taking a little break. We lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Come on! Okay. Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the rest out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Yes. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. Oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. 
An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Cornell. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Yes, you. Do you have a place to stay this enchanted evening? We have the perfect room for a sweet-looking couple like you. How much? Cloud! <laughs> Just give me a holler when you change your mind. Like right where we're standing? We suck other stuff, too. Thanks a bunch. I mean, yeah, it's the hardest way to have this much. If you don't know, forget it. Just what I'm looking for. Pretty rowdy. I think this is where they said to me, isn't it? See the sign out front? All I got is materia. Thanks, buddy. Oh, 
lot years ago. Talking to you, I said they're good. What? what? Cloud, I will go wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. with the most fascinating theory. Still can't believe it. Think you're too good for my funds? Come here! What the hell, man? How would Quit you think you're fighting you? Not I bought the same disc twice. Uh, excuse me, sir. If you like, you can have it. <sighs> I told you, you're not allowed to see me at work. But there's something I wanted to give you. It's not our job to give it next time. Welcome to Wall Market's premier weapon shop. Do come again. Welcome, come on in. Take a look. Take a look.
Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Dung's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is, hmm? Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? 
But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Miffy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong. And you'll leave me in peace. Mind if I see that coin of yours? <sighs> Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. wrong with this place. I guess they're closed right now? Why don't we try looking for another one of the trio? Yeah. 
supposed to go down like this. This the place? Just wanted to see Andrea. Think so. Let me handle this. You wait out here, okay? And why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Aren't you that leaf house? Uh, hey! What the hell, Merc? Digging into people's personal affairs in this town is a huge no-no. What are you doing here? Uh, well, if you must know, I've wanted to be a dancer ever since I was a little girl. I come here at night to live the dream. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell the children, okay? I've always wanted to dance for a living. Gotta stay sharp, though. Lifetime bands are lifetime bands. I mean, shit. <laughs> Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry. But there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Hey, are you nervous too? You bet I am! This is the first time in my life sitting in the premiere section. It took me over half a year to save up for this. Wow, I hope you enjoy the show. I know why you're here. To gawk at the honey girls, right? As if you're not here to gawk at the honey boys. Come on, old man. Time to go. Hey, I heard you used to be a honey girl way back then. <laughs> Just woke up one day and realized I'm not a queen bee anymore. I've always wanted to dance for a living. Gotta stay sharp, though. Lifetime bands are lifetime bands. Not free. There's a new place run by a girl much younger. There must be something to do.
Johnny's been had. She's a siren, I tell you. This must be the place. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then. What manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm-hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? Not a customer, then get out. I feel rejuvenated. Yeah, Gil. Okay. You gotta think about the combinations. Talk about a busy day, huh? Ready to take the plunge, are we? So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. 
and wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> if that was to your liking, do come again. Right. How was it? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. <laughs> Think you'll make a habit of it? Then, I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm? Okay. Really? But, you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So... What should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good, because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay?
The doors Spectated. are now Please enter from the right, and yeah. contenders from the left. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. does this thing go you think I wonder how many people are fighting hey you're not nervous are you nope really you're even more quiet than usual just trying to focus like you should What happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries and... Well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aaron, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Come on, hurry it up! You two ready? 
Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talking about a bad day? And this is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! One of Walmart that's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pet make a meal of our two challenges before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon dogs of hell, the Sanguine Stalkers! The great beast! There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We are in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! <laughs> don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. <laughs> Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. That's what they call ready to rock. You gonna take all day? Well, that was some bullshit.
Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Couple! More like I'm lucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric! Couple my ass! What the hell you two trying to pull? Assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah, yeah! Their opponents, Reavers of the Snapdog, thieves and killers through and through! Too criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check their pockets, because they may have already robbed you blind! The most contemptible son of bitches inside the of war market, Bex Benefit! to the Corneo Cup semi-finals. Begin oh, now! Oh, yeah. oh, I'm just getting started. Yeah. Hope you're ready! Yeah. Break yourself. You burn oh, my head! Yeah. I'll show you what I can do.
That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. <laughs> so have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Does this mean I don't gossip like dead no more? Damn, you two are really something else. I could use that kind of muscle in my gang. So hungry. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Cornell Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go. <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eren! Yeah! Come on now! Come on! You can do better than that! And now, five-time winners of 
the Corneo Cup. Murder machines with countless kills to their name. Along with a handful of maimings. The deadly duo that takes up the trash with a vengeance. The electric executioners, Chocobo Sam's champions. Cutting and sweeping. Come on now. Shinra armor. More like cheating. <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history. The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now. Taken this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now. I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that?! Ah! You greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit-festering asshole! Uh... 
But that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Go on now. That prize money is going to pay for your dress. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we share your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a vote is matter than order! <laughs> Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far! Klaus and Eric! Buried in the bowels of the Coliseum. An unspeakable horse, long in prison, that breathes a night for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Corneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! to come! Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen! The Cup's final, final battle begins now! All oh, the battle is joined! And already I can tell you this bonus match will not get the point! Alright, this is the best of the test, the meanest of the mean! But can they handle the horror of the Hellhound? Oh. No one Strap yourselves in, folks, cause this show is only getting started! No escape! Who the hell out? That is appetite for magic! <laughs> it's Midgar's House of the Future today! Eco Bravery and Magic Absorbent! Deal with that. So it's my turn? Hey, bad air in this office! Get him! And she is pumping! Cut the tension! the hell out now! Ah! Sorry. Stop it. Yeah, no see. Yeah. Come on, stop it. 
so cute. I could die! Yeah. 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 
with the stunning reversal! The Hell House is down the water! No that is the price you pay for daring to get in the way of true love!
the old switcheroo. As usual, the Hell House is up to no good. Call fire. It's on you. I'll show you what I can do. Take it over. Here goes. Cut! Yeah. 
they strong enough to pull through? Go on! Oh, the rage of my self is nothing but that of cinders! Ouch! That's gotta hurt! Eric gets a double dose of neighborly hatred! Reduced to food for the beast. We will never forget your sacrifice. 